In just a few moments, we're going to learn who is Miss Universe 1979, and that means that it's time for our reigning Miss Universe to make her final official appearance. It's my great pleasure to introduce the beautiful lady from South Africa who tonight completes her very exciting year as Miss Universe 1978. Here is Margaret Gardner. Miss Universe 1979 is going to have a wonderful year. I know because my reign is superb. I'd like to thank Mr. Harry Glass and Miss Universe Incorporated for their support and for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Also thanks to my chaperones and all the people I have met during my travel. Good luck, Miss Universe 1979. You have wonderful people supporting you. Thank you, Margaret Gardner. Our accountants from the internationally known firm of Ernst & Winnie have just handed me a card in which they've listed the judge's final decisions. Four runners-up at Miss Universe 1979. Two of our former queens, Corina Sope, Miss Universe 1964, and Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Miss Universe 1967, are here to help us with the crowning. Before I read the names, good luck, girls. We're proud of all of you. I'll begin with the fourth runner-up. The fourth runner-up is Miss Sweden. Congratulations. The third runner-up is Miss Brazil. Congratulations. The second runner-up is Miss England. Miss Venezuela, down here to me, please. One of you is about to become Miss Universe. The other is the first runner-up, a position that's important because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her obligations for the entire year, the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. I shall announce the first runner-up first and then Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss Bermuda. Miss Venezuela is Miss Universe. Now, this is Bob Barker thanking you for joining us. Good night, everybody. Young men of the universe are all over the world seeking peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread this message in every way we can, wherever we go. Universe. 